All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another informal e-commerce growth video where I'm going to be showing you what it takes to grow your e-commerce business. OK, in this video, I really want to show you the ingredients. Right? Not only that, because the ingredients are very simple to comprehend. But how do you apply them? Like, what's the recipe? OK, and so I wanted to lay out everything in this video so that you know exactly what to focus on, which pillars are necessary for you to install in your business. Right. Because you might be running your business the wrong way. You might be, um, you know, not doing the right activities every single day. So I'm going to show you exactly what to focus on, how to structure your uh, pillars to guarantee the growth that you want to see and to unlock the growth you want to see. So many of you are operating your business with the south like for example if you have a compass your compass is pointing to the south whereas you want to be focusing on going towards your true north okay so if you focus on the south you're going to be walking a long distance to go back to, to north right and so what we want to do is really realign our compass to know exactly what to focus on the path and the roadmap we want to follow and follow it diligently with discipline that's all it takes OK, it's not about the shiny object syndrome. It's not about the next hack on the market. It's really just focusing on the principles and really applying them and having the discipline to stick to it for a very long time, an extended period of time. This growth framework, I can guarantee is going to increase your sales. It's going to increase your awareness. It's going to increase the quality of customers that you have. It's going to increase the quality of business kind of a business life or day to day life that you have in your business It's going to really facilitate a lot of things in your life. OK, I can't guarantee it's going to take you one hundred thousand dollars per month, but I've seen so many businesses in the past that we personally helped go from low four figures, three thousand dollars per month, eight hundred thousand dollars per month to making over multiple five figures every single month or even in some cases, multiple six figures every single month. It's truly, truly possible. You just need the right ingredients. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the lab. We're back in the trenches. I'm going to show you exactly how to scale your business and how to go from a position where you're either seeing a lot of red in your Shopify every single month or you're not seeing the growth you want to see. So stagnation. OK, stagnation is the silent killer of any business owner. If you're not growing, you're dying. You're slowly dying. So you're either in this position where you see a lot of red uh, and you're actually uh, you know, experiencing a decline in sales or you're just stagnating. You're not getting the results that you want. It's frustrating and thus it's um, not an enjoyable and fun experience to run your business. OK, so we take you from this position to a position of what we call abundance. OK, and so these are numbers. Uh, directly pulled from some of our clients back end. And as you can see, some of these are yearly results. Some of these are monthly results. OK, so we want to take you to a position where you're seeing a lot of green, but not like the cute five, 10 percent, 20 percent month over month. We want to see aggressive growth in the beginning so that we stabilize it at that point and then it's smooth sailing. OK, so here what I want to present to you is exactly the list of ingredients that we use every single day to help our clients scale and understand what it takes to grow their business. OK. Phase number one, because we need to really compartmentalize the pillars or the activities that we need to achieve within our business to unlock the growth we want to see. The first phase is really just focusing on your offer and your product market fit. OK, first thing we want to do is identify a market that we want to go after and frame our products you might have seen here, I didn't write products, I wrote offer because the offer is the way you frame your products. An offer is not necessarily a 10% discount or a 15% discount. That's what a lot of people uh, in the e-commerce space think. It's, a, it's, a, it's really a mistake to think that. An offer is how you frame your products, okay? So we want to have an offer and the market that intersect perfectly, okay? And most likely than not, what we want to happen is like ideally in the ideal scenario, you want that intersection to stay there for a long time, which means you want to solve for an issue that you know is going to be there in five years in 10 years, ideally. OK, because if you're a fad, then, you know, you're or a trend, you're just going to die off in you know a few months or a few years. OK, we don't want that to happen. So first step, you want to go inwards and really focus on the market and the offer. OK, super, super important. This is pen and paper activity, ladies and gentlemen. This is not uh, fa fancy like uh, Facebook ad strategy or whatever. No, this is just pen and paper introspection and really uh, a lot of research, honestly. OK, market and offer intersect perfectly. Once we have that, what we want is 
essentially to start the education process because any product needs education. Some products need a little bit of education on the spectrum. A lot of products actually need a lot of education. Okay, if you're selling a supplement, if you're selling a health product, a wellness product, if your market is a sophisticated market where they've seen every single claim, like if you sell something that helps with weight loss, that is a very, very sophisticated market. You need to be able to communicate why your products and your offer is different and you need to start the education process. Okay. Now, after that, we need to start generating awareness for your brand. There's two ways to do it. You either do it on a free basis. So you're posting on your organic marketing, you're getting sales uh, for just from posting. And it's a very strategic process. Or, and or actually, you start generating profitable at attention, which means you're spending $1 and making $1 back. That's super, super key as well. Okay. And then you also want to make sure that you have a conversion mechanism on the back end that converts that attention that you work so hard to generate you want to convert it into purchases, okay, into cash. Okay. Now, a lot of brands, what they do when they do this part, well, which is very rare, but when they do it, not a lot of brands actually can, um, you know, scale using this. But once that happens, it's very addictive. It's like the casino, like you put $1 in, you get back $2, $3, $4, whatever. And it's very addictive. Okay, we don't want to depend on this, because one day, one platform might shut down, your ad accounts might be banned, your, uh, you might be shadow banned from your organic marketing, whatever happens, we want to be, we want to have a moat behind our business, we want to be able to retain customers. And that's where retention comes into play. Okay, because ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand that it takes much more energy to go out there and convert a stranger into becoming a customer than it does to convert a an existing customer. It's much less energy expended to reacquire your customers after they've purchased from you once. Okay, so it's free money, literally, if you do it right. Okay, so we want to be able to retain our customers for a very, very long time, the longer, the better. And then what we want to do, and not a lot of people are talking about this is we need to start building what we call a, pro a profitable believers pool inside your business. Typically, what we want to have is people that are so bought in in your vision, in your products, in your, um, you know, in your way of doing things that they actually advocate for your business without even getting compensated for it. Okay, these are what we call believers. Typically, what we what we want is 100 to 1000 people plus the more the better, but a 1, thousand, uh, 100 to a 1000 people in this pool that are going to uh, enable you to leverage their network, they're going to give you reviews, they're going to record UGC videos, they're going to uh, record video testimonials, they're just going to talk to you, uh, talk about you, excuse me. And it's just free marketing. Okay, it's like referrals on steroids. Okay. And then next, what we want to do is we want to focus on building your brand long term, which means decommoditizing your business. I'll repeat that decommoditizing your business. You don't want to be a commodity in this economy, in this in this industry, especially. OK, you don't want your uh, brand to be a attached to your products. You want to be attached to a lifestyle, a keyword, a buzzword, a trend, um, you know, something that is um, that is going to stay. You know, that's much more powerful that transcends your products. Okay. Otherwise, someone is going to be uh, in your comp like they're going to come as a competitor, they're going to have a better product, a faster product, a better looking product, that's going to happen. Okay, they can get a better brand because your brand is unique to you. No one can do a better job at that than you. So we need to focus on that in the long term. Okay. And that's how you get to this level here. OK, now I just gave you the list of ingredients. Now, the recipe is something that is a little bit more complicated, and a little bit more complex. But once you understand it, it's actually very simple and very straightforward. OK, now the first phase to add an extra 50 to 100 K per month in uh, in sales to your revenue, that's by following this process. It can happen in a week. It can happen in you know 12 months, in 24 months, whatever time frame you are destined to follow, you need to follow this protocol. OK, the first one is the foundations. We need to understand what is the product market fit uh, kind of caliber. OK, do we have a strong product market fit yet or should we work towards one? 
do we frame our products in the right way? Like, what's the core belief of the market we're going after? What does the market want? How do they want to hear it? Like, what format? How can we give it to them faster? How can we give it to them more effortlessly? You know, how can we get clarity on our fundamental numbers that we craft offers that make sense on a business model uh, basis, but also make sense to the customer on an emotional basis? Like, do, th does it really answer the core belief of the market? Right? We need to know our AOV, our LTV, our COGS our repeat customer rate that gives us insights that we can then, um, you know, go and create a pricing model. And then we can offer guarantees, different ways to offer guarantees without knowing these numbers. You can do it. OK, now afterwards, we want to make you choose three offer types that suit your product and audience. Now, typically, a lot of people just stop here. They give a twenty dollars off, 20 percent off, whatever. And that's their magic offer. OK, but there's so much you can do. Like I've included some of them here. You can get a buy X, get Y free. You can get uh, X when you spend a Y amount of dollars, like a free gift strategy an anchor price, plus a target price strategy. First order free, just pay the shipping. If you're doing the subscription model, there's so much you can do that it, it is criminal to only base yourself on these two offers. OK, now, once we have these offers, we want to start simulating them. That's why I mentioned it's pen and paper. OK, we need to know exactly how much profit you're going to extract. What are your profit margins? Are you happy with them? And then select the best offers that we think are going to answer the core belief of the market. That's the foundations. That's how you add an extra 10K per month or you get to 10K per month. OK, it's by tapping into a core desire and offering a solution to that desire. Super simple. And then we also want to know what your business model entails. Like what is your MSRP? What's your cost of delivery, the, pro the gross and net and then the CAC target, like how much you can afford to spend to acquire a customer. For example, in this case, if you spend over $17, you're not going to make it. You're not going to be profitable if you want to make $20 in your pocket, right? If your net target is $20 based on the $58 pro product, if you spend 20 bucks to acquire a customer, you're not going to be profitable, right? And so we need to understand how much money you want to make per order. That's the unit economic um, side of things. And then we reverse engineer it and we know exactly how much we can afford to spend on marketing. Super, super important. Without this, if you're advertising without this or your agency, your expert agency is advertising without an analysis like this, you're just losing money. You might be lucky for a month or two, but you eventually you're start losing money and bleeding cash. OK, now, once we have your million dollar offer, what we want to do is push you through acquisition. We need to start spending on acquisition, whether you're at thousand dollars per month or uh, you know, $100,000 per month, you need to start spending on acquisition. Okay. And if you do it the right way, you can add an extra 50, 60, 70, 80 K per month very, very easily in the shortest amount of time. It might happen in 90 days, it might happen in six months, it might happen in a year, whatever time frame again you are destined to follow. This is the recipe to get you a lot more uh, awareness. Okay. You just pay for it. And for example, one of our clients, this is as of July of 2023, we spent thirty three thousand dollars, made back over one hundred and fifty two thousand dollars and we average a return of four point fifty three X. OK, this client of ours, they started they started with us. I think they were making like one thousand three hundred dollars per month in sales. Now they're making over six figures uh, or multiple six figures because this is only Facebook um, and they're making that every single month. OK. So it's, it's very, very profitable once you do it the right way. Once you leverage AI infused copywriting, once you have performance creatives, not just, you know, BS content or, uh, you know, bland content that doesn't really answer the core belief of the market. Once again, you need to start, you know, thinking strategically about how to structure your content to alleviate problems your customers have. And then all starts with the foundations, like I said. OK, now. What we want to do next is we want to focus on retaining our hard earned customers. OK, if you're only if you're spending one dollar and you're making back three dollars, that's that's really good. That's a three X return on ad spend. That's really, really healthy. But you could turn that three X into a four X into a five X, even a six X if you leverage retention. OK, with the right systems in place within your business with deliverability making sure your emails are actually read with the right emails sent at the right time, with the proper segmentation, with the proper automations, you are making sure that your business is going to recycle the traffic you're paying for. Because here what happens is you're paying for traffic, but only 3% will convert or 2%. What happens to the 
you just pay for it and nothing happens? No, of course not. You need to recycle it. And one of the ways, one of the most powerful ways to do it is by leveraging retention. Okay. Now this is how you get to multiple six figures per month. And then afterwards, what you want to do is you want to focus on the engine of your brand. And this is more of a long-term game because it takes a little bit of time to get started and get uh, results. It's your organic marketing. You need to identify where is your customer, the customer that has this core belief, where is he or where is she? Okay. Are they on TikTok, Instagram, Google, YouTube, Facebook, whatever platform. And then you start posting at a high tempo. You need to start posting a lot and measuring the resonance of the concepts you, uh, of the different concepts you leverage. So UGC, does it work? Objection handling co content, does it work? Product and use content, does it work? Et cetera, et cetera. And you need to measure the engagement, the follower growth, the increase in sales, obviously, or in traffic, the higher amount of sessions. And then you start iterating from that. Okay. One of our clients here, um, we launched these three uh, pieces of content, we helped him craft them. And obviously we, uh, as you can see, we averaged 11 million views on TikTok. that resulted in a lot of money for him in just 45 days. Um, and that's very profitable once done in the right way. Okay. So with this roadmap here, why focusing on your foundations, really making sure you have a product that you can frame into an offer that answers a core belief of a market that is here to stay. That's where you can unlock huge growth. Okay. And then by pushing your thesis to acquisition, you can then measure the accuracy of your hypothesis. Okay. And then once you have traffic coming in and actually purchasing, you need to recycle that traffic. That's retention. And then you need to focus on getting free awareness. That's your organic marketing, which takes a little bit of time to kick off, but it's very profitable once it does. And here are your four growth pillars that if you focus on every single day, you will see an increase in sales that you haven't seen in your business for a very long time. And I can guarantee that because after working with hundreds of brands for the past four years, we see every single day what works and what doesn't. The traits the e-commerce founders need to have every single day to succeed. And, you know, the infrastructure, the technical aspect of it, right? So if you have the right traits and you combine that with the right infrastructure and perhaps even add the right team behind you, that's the recipe for success. And we've been uh, very, very fortunate to help over 100 brands in the past four years. Now, what we focus on is really helping e-commerce businesses that are struggling, that are stagnating, and that, are, that need this kind of boost in growth very, very fast. And the way to do it is by having this roadmap installed in your business. Okay, it makes it unreasonable to not at least double your sales in, you know, 20 to 30 days it makes it super, super unreasonable. So hope this was useful to you guys and I look forward to speaking with you on another video. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Cheers.